Let's take a look at final exam question number 69 in Everyday Math Demystified, second edition. Please refer to page 247. We're talking about the interest that you have to pay on a long-term loan. How can you make that interest as small as possible? Well, let's just say that the interest is a flat rate. It might be, oh, you get a mortgage, 5%, say. Say you buy a house, $200,000. That's the total price of the house. So you're going to take out a loan for some of that $200,000. Let's say you're a responsible type, you, you really want to do a good job, do it by the book, you take out 25% of that $200,000, you pay that down, you make a down payment, therefore, of $50,000. Well, if you make a $50,000 down payment, then the amount of the loan that you end up having to pay is going to be $150,000. That's going to be the amount of the loan. The home costs $200,000, you put $50,000 down. Well, you're going to be paying interest on that $150,000. If you increase your down payment, suppose, oh, you make it $100,000. You really want to be generous. You pay down half. If you do that, and you pay down half, then the amount of your loan is going to be cut in half. So you're going to be paying less interest because the principal is smaller, given all other factors remaining constant. So choice A will work. And in fact, choice A is the correct answer to this problem. If uh, Let's look at the others. Choice B talks about getting the highest APR that you can find. Well, that means getting the highest rate of interest that you can find. That's not going to reduce uh, the amount of interest that you have to pay. That's going to increase the amount of interest that you have to pay. So choice B is wrong. Choice C, paying off the loan as slowly as possible? No way. The longer you stretch out that loan at any given rate of interest and at any given principle, the more interest you're going to end up paying. Not less, but more. Making the individual payments as small as possible? Not on your life. The bigger the payments that you make, the faster you're going to pay that loan off, whatever it is, and in the long run, the less interest you're going to make, so choice D is wrong. Once again, the correct choice to this particular question is A. You want to make the initial down payment as large as you can.